For the longest time, I felt like I had to accept orders that looked like this. This was because I only used DoorDash and it was almost impossible to schedule a shift in my area. This meant I had to be a top dasher and maintain a 70% acceptance rate just to go out and work whenever I wanted. And of course this meant that I had to deliver the occasional no tip order. But recently I just said, you know what, screw it. And I decided to take only really good orders but not even from DoorDash. See, I basically completely cut out DoorDash from my gig work, and now I just primarily focus on Uber Eats, Instacart, and Lyft, because none of these apps make you maintain a certain acceptance rate. So this way I can cherry pick the very best orders off of each platform and still always be able to go out and work whenever I want. And if there's no good orders at the time, then I can just sit in my car and work on stuff on my laptop, which has been really nice to get work done. My goal is still to make $267 a day before 8 p.m. So in this video, I wanted to just take you guys through a normal day for me now and show you just how good cutting out the garbage DoorDash orders has been. All right, guys, we already got our first order of the day. It's actually a package delivery, which I don't know if I've ever done, but it's $14. I can't remember the miles and I forgot to screenshot it, but it's right back there. So getting things going, we got a lot of money to make, so let's get going. Wow, what a crazy morning. Instacart has been killing it. We've made $61 from them so far. And then Uber Eats, we just dropped off that really great Chick-fil-A order, $9 one mile. And we're at $95 so far. And that is in about three and a half hours. So we're averaging great money right now. It's about 10.30. So that means that I'm going to take this time where it's usually the slowest to grab myself something to eat and kind of go from there. If it doesn't pick up, then I'm actually going to take my one break for the day where I'm gonna try and hit the gym and also maybe just eat lunch as well. And that's if things don't pick up. If I don't get an order while I'm sitting eating my food or on the drive home, then I'll just take my hour long break for the day and hit the gym, eat more, and then yeah, we'll be back at it. But so far, I am very pleased with what I'm seeing and there's really not been any dead time until right now. I mean, that's why I haven't really filmed because it's been insane. So hopefully things keep up, but yeah, I'm gonna go probably get some Chick-fil-A because that, <laughs> that last order really got me in the mood for it. So I'll see you guys in a little. So obviously this strategy might not work perfectly for everyone. And that is why you should definitely try out the solo app because I use them every single day and it definitely helps keep everything organized. And also it points me to the direction of what apps are the busiest in my area. So if you're wanting to try out something like this and get rid of the garbage orders, then I highly recommend you signing up for one of their subscription plans so that you can see the best hours to work what apps of the day. It makes multi-apping way easier and it takes a lot of the guesswork out of like how much you're gonna be making because they have a guaranteed pay feature and because they track your miles for you. They do all of this stuff that just keeps everything organized and helps you make as much money as you can, especially if you're using multiple apps. I highly recommend downloading it. And if you wanna use the link I have for you down below in the description, then you're gonna get a $10 bonus upon sign up and you're gonna get a free trial for a week to try out one of those subscriptions. All right guys, we ended up not getting anything and I just took my break for the day so it is now 12.30 and we're going back out. I'm driving over to a parking lot, leaving my apartment right now to just go park at the nearest little mall area. We're actually doing worse than I thought because for some reason on that first Uber package delivery we did, they had it bumped up to $25. And that was because it like took longer than expected or something like that. But now they readjusted it down to $11 and like 87 cents or something like that. So we lost like $14 from what I thought we had. So I've actually only made like $83, I believe. Yeah, 
like $21.50 from Uber and $61.50 from Instacart. So I think I'm gonna have to bring in the big gun. So we're bringing in Lyft. There's some turbo bonus pay with Lyft. And if things get really bad, really slow, then I'm gonna turn on Uber rideshare probably. So anyway, 12.30 on a Friday, I'm expecting it to get busy. I think the problem with the money I made earlier was I didn't have the best selection of orders. Like I should have been more selective because Friday mornings, I probably should have made more than what I did, but it is what it is. Now we can go into this part of the day just having a better strategy. And so what I think I'm gonna do is while it's still the lunch hours, I'm gonna cherry pick kind of hardcore and get some work done while I'm doing that. Kind of like the plan that I've been talking to you guys about. And then once it hits like 1.30 or two o'clock, I might just go total ride share because from like two to five o'clock on Fridays for ride share is maybe the busiest time of the week outside of like late night on the weekend. So that's kind of my hesitant plan right now. We're kind of just gonna see what Uber Eats and his cart throws our way and then go from there. Well, we just went on an absolute tear from Lyft. And now we got one Instacart order and one Uber Eats, which are just amazing. So we're rolling right now. I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. Oh man, what a last couple of hours. So when we got back from shift, or not, <laughs> not from shift, from break, we had that dead time where I was just working in my car for like 45 minutes. But since then, we've made, let me see. We've made about $102, $103, if I'm doing my math right. And that's in the past three hours. So absolutely crushing it with these past little bit. I mean, the lift rides have really been carrying a lot of weight. And so I'm very glad I switched that on because we would have not hit our goal today, I don't think. So check this out. We've made $73.29 from Instacart and then from Lyft, which we just barely turned on, already $71. And then Uber, there's still some tips that need to be factored in. I think it's about like 40 something is what we're at with Uber. So I only have about three and a half hours left. I think we're at like $185 right now so we can just make 90 more dollars in the next three and a half hours which is going to be kind of hard but i think we can do it if i really hustle and i probably am not going to stop and film at all until i'm done with my shift just so that i can really get these orders done i mean i'll still film the drop-offs and whatnot but like stopping like this and catching up with you guys i don't think that's gonna work because yeah we gotta we gotta get a move on so wish me luck Well, we did it. I literally finished at 7.45 and made almost to the exact cent my goal. My goal is 266 and 67 cents every day. And today I made $266.86. So just barely beat the goal. But what's kind of crazy is we only were active for nine hours and 27 minutes. It's kind of crazy in both ways. That means we were averaging almost $30 an hour during active time, which I'd like to see that higher, to be honest with you. But when you're going out this many hours throughout the day, you can't really just hit the peak times. So that does lower your hourly pay, unfortunately. 
So as you guys saw throughout the day, I mean, there was not a single bad order that I took. In fact, all of them were extremely good in my opinion. I just wanted to go through a couple of numbers for you guys just to show you how much better this strategy is working for me than just using DoorDash or even using DoorDash mixing it with like Uber Eats and multi-apping that way because I still have to take the majority of DoorDash orders. So check this out. I made $266.86 from all three apps combined. And the miles I drove while I was actually doing orders was 103.5 miles. Now my total miles was about 150, but that also includes driving home from my break and any other time that I was just driving over to a parking lot and things like that. But the time that I was actually on orders was only 103.5 miles, which is crazy. And then I only spent $12 in gas. That is what cherry picking does. It lowers your expenses so much. And that's also what multi-apping does, especially with Instacart, because you can get super high payouts for like one or two miles. And so I had way more profit today than I normally would doing DoorDash or DoorDash and Uber Eats. And so my dollar per mile ratio per order was $2.58, which for me when I was doing DoorDash, if I got a $2 per mile order, that was like the best thing ever. But now every single order, I averaged $2.58. And that's even with the lift rides, which are usually only about a dollar per mile, sometimes even lower. But if you guys noticed on these ones, I was only for the most part taking lift rides that were really high payouts. And I was really maximizing lift when there was that really big bonus pay. And so that helped lower the dollar per mile ratio on those lift rides as well, which is how I got the $2.58 dollar per mile ratio per order and ride that I was doing. So the average order and ride that I did was $11.20 for 4.3 miles, which is just crazy because of every single order that you got on DoorDash was $11.20 for four and a half miles. Like that would be an absolute killing. Unfortunately, that's like never going to happen on DoorDash, but you can curate that to happen for yourself if you know what apps are best in your area and how to pair them as best as you can. So that's kind of what my day-to-day -day looks like now. I really don't use DoorDash too much at all anymore. Obviously, I still do it just to maintain that top dasher and things like that, but it's really not my primary focus. This is kind of what I'm doing every single day and it's working out super great. I can hit $267 in right around that nine to 10 hour active time range. And then the other couple of hours, I'm usually just working on stuff on my laptop, in my car, cherry picking orders. So it's been working out super great for me. Hopefully you can try and implement some of this into your own day to day and start making some more money because it's really, really made a big difference for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you subscribe. I noticed just recently that only about 11 to 12% of the people who watch my channel are actually subscribed to me. So if you could subscribe, that would be a big help to me. That would help me know that you guys are actually enjoying my content. So anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.